think I might have found something pretty good. Have a look over here, in amongst this limestone. That looks like it could be a tooth, a big tooth. Maybe from an early dolphin or whale. Yeah, it's very big, whatever it is. I'm a little bit worried about taking it out because it looks quite fragile. Yeah, I'm not sure what to do. I don't have any consolidant with me. So I really need for this. It is, like it's not flaking away. I've touched it and there's nothing brittle about it. So I might just try and remove as much as I can over here and then try and get it out. It could be something really, really good. That's a big tooth if it's a tooth. Okay, made the decision. We're just gonna leave it. Come back with some consolidant and do it properly. I'm just too scared it's gonna flake away and just be too brittle. It's a really good looking tooth if it is a tooth and it's quite large. I sent photos of that tooth I just found to some whale experts and they reckon it's a bacillosaurid. I always come to this book when I need to know anything about whales. So, a bacillosaurus. Let's have a look over here. So, whales are really weird. Their ancestors used to be on the land and then came back into the ocean. So they started off with fresh water, and here's the Bacillosauridae. So this is what it could be a tooth of, and that's the ancestor of the modern whales, the ones with teeth, Odontocete, and Mysticetes. Very cool. That's such a strange looking thing. This thing is nightmare fuel. <laughs> the Ambilocetes. Very strange looking thing. <laughs> but yeah, even that one, very strange. See over there, they still have the hind limbs, which then go away. And we don't have them in the modern whales and dolphins. It's a few days after we found that tooth and we're back here. Yeah? Got the consolidant, got a few hundred meters to walk, and then we're there. Let's go find it. The good news is it's still here. And there it is. It's now to get some consolidant out. consolidant in there as I can. I don't think you can have too much consolidant. See most of the tooth over there now. And there's the tip over there, and then there's the root over in this section. I'm wondering if I can get this whole bit of limestone out. for comfort. 
these little cracks in here. Well, there it is, my first cetacean tooth. The tip of the tooth is broken off from the main part, but at least it's, it's in this container. <laughs> And it came out in one piece. Couldn't have asked for more. That was a difficult recovery. I'm glad we brought the consolidant. I don't think it would have survived without it. That's an awesome tooth. Very cool. Have a look at this chunky boy over here. That's a cusp over there. Sorry, over there where my thumb is now, and there's another cusp on that side. And just look how thick it is. It's a really thick tooth. The tip has come loose. You can see it's lying over there, but that's an easy fix. Just glue it back on onto there. Thanks so much for watching everyone, I hope you enjoyed that. It was such a cool tooth and I've already donated that to one of the local museums here in New Zealand. Uh, my patrons, you might recognize that video from a while back when I first found that tooth and I thought I'd do an update video now that I have a bit more information about it. Stay safe everyone, I'll see you on the next hunt.